Put it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's, let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can explain this. Up. You're just going to cut a four, a, a four foot circle for the hovercraft, and then you're going to drill a, the hole that the, that the vacuum cleaner pipe would fit into. And, and I suggested to Scott what I did with mine is I cut a two by four, uh, just a piece of two by four, with a hole drilled through it, and glued it right over here because that gives you a little length to put the tube in so it isn't falling off. Otherwise, you only have a half inch. And, and I always used to have kids hold this here. I used to have the extension on here so that it was twice as long. And then the kids held this and held the extension cord because if you lose this, you know, inertia takes over. Uh, if you lose the cord, inertia takes over and everybody goes flying. Uh, but it turned out that because I used two extensions, I was losing a lot of air. It was amazing. So now if you, you make sure that you come out of your vacuum right into here, and again, Bruce said you will have a 2 by 4 and, and if for some reason the hole you drill today doesn't work, you can just replace that 2 by 4 with whatever will work with your vacuum, right? They can, they can make a new adapter on top. Aren't these all the same size? So? Uh, typically, but it, I mean, if they have to make that an adjustment, yeah. that would be a good adjustment. Okay. okay. Yeah, it just depends. I, 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 they're they're probably pretty standard, but they, they it's possible some of them you get might like be different. Blowers. Leaf blowers are large. Oh yeah, yeah. I do have a leaf blower here, but I I haven't tried to. It, so if you want to make an adapter for a leaf blower, yeah, that would be a good way to do it. You can have this hole be that size and have the other thing be bigger. Did anybody bring a uh, power stapler? I have two hand staplers. Yeah. Okay, we have a we power have one stapler. power stapler too. That'll and that, that should be okay. Them. And, and just you're going to show them where the staples are. Yeah, you're going to take the tie back. You brought a coffee lid. Mm -hmm. I have a few spares. Oh, I have spares. I have. In fact, I even have put a bolt through there, and a, and a nut and a washer over here. And you're going to bring the tie back tie back over, and 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 staple the heck out of it. Well, be, before okay. you do that, you have to drill. You, you have to cut holes in the tie bag. Oh yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Uh, you should probably do that before you pull this taunt. Yeah. The number of holes doesn't really make much difference. I, I know it makes a different frequency, a different sound, uh, but uh, uh, and they don't have to be perfectly equal. The only place that you don't want to have a hole is right across <laughs> this is. I mean, you know, it, it, it's it's. I, you, I need those kind of. Yeah, and here, uh, I, might have, I might have either drilled a hole or a hole started forming here, and then duct tape works really well on the Tyvek. The Tyvek's strong, duct tape, you know, will fix anything after that. What, what's that material? Tyvek. Tyvek. Uh, this, this is Tyvek, which is a copycat of Tyvek. It's house wrap. House wrap. It's uh, very fibrous stuff. Okay, right. and the coffee can list is to hold the center in. Does it, yeah. does it totally blow it out? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this thing does blow. Uh, Scott, Scott, of course, cut the sheets of plywood in half. So they're, they're four by four. And then, you, and then you need to either, when well, you need to draw with a string. Now, if you marker. take it right to the edge, of, then you'd have to cut out four corners. Take it in a little bit, then you have to cut Complete all the circle. way around, and you know it doesn't have to be that perfect anyway. Uh, doesn't have to be four foot. Doesn't have to be three yeah. eleven. It can but be whatever. Square uh, probably work. a little bigger. What a square wouldn't work. I think a square would work. A square would work. <laughs> uh, maybe the corn would go down and dig into the floor a little oh, bit. Or something. Yeah, and and, and uh, we did get them cut at Home Depot, and the guy just cut them like really fast. So there's. There are splits on the end, yeah. and that's why you might want to pull in a little bit from the forefoot, right? Maybe you can get, uh, once we get started right now, you can get a, a, a screw and a string and so that they can... They will make, a, make a radius circle. Can, yeah. And, and so, the people who are doing, uh, whatever number of people are in doing the uh, hovercraft at the same time, uh, uh, certainly would be good to help each other uh, at least get the first that's pattern and then and then uh, go from there. That's that's the thing. I, I think I think you should uh, look around today. I don't know if I can have to say it. But look around and, and and see who needs help and and give help. Uh, how many people brought a like a little jigsaw, or a little saber saw? I'll see. So we're, we gold, we're golden we're there. Good. And then somebody somebody would say, is that like a wrench? <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was when I got my first watch. It's right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Saber saw, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, 
somebody somebody near, near you won't have a saber saw, so you can help. They can help you cut yours. Or Here's a saber saw. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have a do you, do you have a question? Uh, what what's the thickness of the wood? This? Yeah. Half inch.